Here's my rant on the rewrite. Rewrite addition and subtraction problems so that we're not even thinking about them about addition and subtraction anymore. I wish they didn't even teach it that way. I wish it was positive numbers and negative numbers because seventh grade would be so much easier. When we say addition, we think, oh, we're just putting things together. And when we say subtraction, we think that we're taking that away, but it all gets misconstrued and it's different when we talk about integers. It's the hardest thing. My pawns, positive one, negative one. When we put those together, it's not two, all right? We have one positive, one negative. We got to learn that they cancel each other out. They are additive inverses. They create zero. Let me show you the rewrite. This whole rant is just on rewriting whatever expression is given to you because they're going to show it to you in a bunch of different ways anyways so we might as well know them let's look at the first one right here two how do you say it that's really what it comes down to this is two minus three two do i have to say positive two no it's positive all the default is positive two if i just say the number two it's got to be a positive number if i say three it's got to be a positive number but that's where we go wrong when we say subtracting three, we want to start getting in the idea of, okay, that's a three, subtraction sign. Instead of subtraction, we teach opposite. We've got two, and we want to combine that with the opposite of three. Let's talk about what that looks like. Two, and we want to change it so that we're combining it together. Okay, we're combining it together. Let me change colors. So we've got two doesn't change, and we're combining with the opposite of three. Well, what's the opposite of three? The opposite of three is negative three. This is how it can be written, two plus negative three or two minus three. Same result. Here, in my example, though, you're going to be able to use these pawns. I've got two positive pawns. I've got three negative pawns. And when I go ahead and put these all in my hand, if you can see them, I start canceling them out, additive inverses. One positive, one negative, canceled out. One positive and one negative, canceled out. What's the only thing that's left? Our answer of negative one. That's not what this rant's about. It's not about getting the answer. It's about rewriting it. And more importantly, rewriting it to an addition problem so that it, we have those hitches. When we say addition, we mean combine these numbers together, whether they're positive or whether they're negative. Let's go to the next. Four plus one. How can we rewrite four plus one? Well, we can use subtraction of a negative. This is really a difficult one, and I teach all my students, put that negative number in parentheses so that we're able to see that we want the opposite of negative one. Same exact thing, same exact, same exact answer. Next one, negative three plus or combined with negative seven. How can we rewrite that? That's a subtraction problem. Negative three minus seven, just like we got in the first one where there was that opposite. We want negative three and the opposite of positive seven. Right here we said that we're combining negative three and the opposite of positive seven, which is negative seven. Again, different ways they'll show it to you. And now I'm going to give you three terms. Three terms. I've got a negative 2 minus, which I'm going to write the word opposite there, because I want negative 2 and the opposite of negative 6, and then we're going to combine that with negative 1. I got three numbers. Here's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to put two combining plus signs here. I know that I want three numbers, one, two, three. I want them combined together. Are they positive? Or are they negative? Let's figure that out. First number, it's a negative two. Nothing changes. Fine. Second number, 
I want the opposite of negative 6. Positive 6. Last one, we're going to combine negative 1, so that doesn't change at all. And now I have something written out where I have my combining addition sign in between the numbers. And what that does, it, it lets you clearly see whether the number's positive or whether the number's negative. I've got a graphic organizer I'm going to give you. It's my number bonds on steroids. I couldn't find one online, so I made it. I put it down in the description. Click on it. It's free. Use it if you like it. Let's set one up together and see how it works. This last one that I have, I want my students to write the question out and then rewrite it using addition so that we can see the numbers. So I'm going to start you off once again. Let me get everything into frame here. The question I just gave you was negative 2 minus negative 6 plus negative 1. When we rewrite this using, I've got 1, 2, 3. So I've got to separate these three numbers with our combining positive sign, our combining plus sign, and figure out what the number is. Negative 2 stays. Whoa, just got rid of everything. The opposite of negative 6 is positive 6. And we are combining negative 1. How does, how does this number bond thing work? Well, they've grown up with it in elementary school, so let's not fight it. We've got, in this case, we could use commutative property, which is huge. This tells us that we can go ahead, once we get it into a state where we are adding all the numbers together, that we can put them in any order that we want. Negative 2 and negative 1. A lot of my students like to put the negatives all together first. They see it right here concrete with the pawns. I'll put these in the description on Amazon as well if you want to buy them. Negative 2 and negative 1, all negatives. Put them together. We have a total now of three negatives. The last one, well, positive 6. So what do you have more of? We've got six of these. We've got three of these. There's definitely more of these. And if you went ahead, had them, and you canceled them out, you'd be left with three positive pawns, and that's going to be your answer. We could keep going. I, I have the organizer made so that you've, you can use four, at least up to four different terms, in this case, integers. And I hope you just listen to my rant, and hopefully you understand positives and negatives a little bit more. If you don't, comment below. And even if you like it or don't like it, subscribe. Share it with somebody else. I appreciate it.